Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and in the previous video we discussed what is at line selection event. Yes, it requires a action from user and you can go for any of the action. Either you can go for double click, you can select a line and do F2 you can select a line and click on to choose button. If we are going for any of this action, yes, add line selection event trigger or we can say call. Now, after that, we took the requirement that we will display the data from header table on basic list. We will display that data of item table on secondary list based upon the row, whatever the row you are selecting. On that row, whatever the order number is there, the details of that order number only will display on the secondary list from order item table. Now we will start developing the program. So we all know SC38 is the transaction code to develop a program, I will give some name to the program. Suppose I'm saying Z Interactive Classical Report Events. Suppose Z Interactive Classical Report. Suppose I will click on to create button. And we will give the title to the program. Suppose we will say demo on at line selection. Okay, suppose we will give order details and in the bracket I will mention at line selection. So that we can understand fully by the title itself. I will take the type as executable program. We'll go for save. I will save it as a local object. Firstly, we need to display that data only from order header table. Suppose from the order header table, we will take the data of these four columns. Same to same. Suppose from order header table, we will take these four columns. If we want four columns from the order header table, it means we require an internal table of four columns. If we require an internal table of four columns, it means we require a structure type of four columns. So firstly, we will create a structure type of four columns. We all know how we can create a structure type using types. Begin of LTY underscore data first column. Suppose first column order number type data element of order number. We all discuss so many times. Always open the table in a new session and just do the copy paste order date type data element of order date. Then we have payment mode, type data element of payment mode. Then we will take currency, type data element of currency. We will end this particular structure type Yes, I ended the structure type using dot or period at the end. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. LT underscore data type table of. We all know whenever we are using structure type, the keyword is type table of. Now I will declare work area. Data. LWA data type 
एल टी बाई अंडर स्कोर डेटा सो अवर स्ट्रक्चर टाइप इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया इज रेडी वी हैव नॉट टेकन द इनपुट इन द प्रोग्राम यस वी विल टेक द इनपुट एज ऑर्डर नंबर एंड यस we will not go for single value of order number we will go for range or multiple values of order number and you all know whenever we have range or multiple values we need to create select option so for this should be the first thing yes we should take a input yes in our program suppose i am saying s underscore o n o the keyword for the select option is four but the data element what is so i will declare select option name four i will write the variable i am writing lv underscore o n o yes i will get a syntax error because i have not declared this so i need to declare lv underscore o n o type data element of order number i'll check the syntax and activate lv underscore ono is referring to this data element this data element has a domain of numeric 10 it means lv underscore ono is numeric 10 lv underscore ono is we this select option is for this particular variable it means s underscore o n o is numeric 10 i am running the program yes end user will never understand this because this is technical name we should provide the description so our range is ready so how we will give the proper description selection text go to text element selection text i will select dictionary reference i will activate now this this is coming from data element itself so our input is ready our internal table and work area is ready now we will write a open sql query you all know very very well how to write a open sql query select is the keyword how many column data we need to fetch four column order number order date payment mode currency from from which table i am fetching order header table this is my order header table we need to store into internal table into table but the name of internal table we declare lt underscore data where what is the where condition yes o n o in s underscore o n o you all know up to this level very very well whenever you have select option we always has to use in and input is always always on the right hand side so whatever we will give to s underscore o n o it will go to o number of order had a table it will fetch that data of these four columns and data will come into this internal table this internal table now we will simply display we will firstly apply a loop on the internal table loop at internal table into work area for every loop there is a end loop and we all know yes we have a classical report so we need to display the output using which statement right statement work area which column o n no work area which column order date work area which column payment mode work area which column currency i will check the syntax and i will activate the program now one thing i want to add here because now we all know classical report events very very well and you all know 
your selection logic should always be the part of start of selection. So now we can make a practice now that whatever the event is useful, we should use that event. Okay. So I will write this logic as a part of start of selection. Always make a practice now. Yes. Whenever user will click on to execute button, we all know start of selection event trigger. Other events we are not using as of now. Yes, we whatever is useful, we should use this. So now I will run the program. I will give the input one to five. Whenever I will give the input and click on to execute button, you all know on the execute button, start of selection event will call. Whenever start of selection event called, yes, it fetched data from order header table. Data came into this internal table and we display the data. I'm running the program. So now you can see this is which list. This is your basic list, basic list. The list which is coming first in the program is called as the basic list. And we displayed that data using which particular table? Header table only. Header table. Now, what is the next part in the program? Whenever user will double click on the record, so whatever the order number is in that record, we need to display the details of that order number on the secondary list. From which table? order item table this part we will do in the next video so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the practical part of add line selection event we displayed the data on the basic list using which particular table order had a table so we declare the internal table work areas we took the input as select option, we fetch data and we display that data using the right statement. And yes, whatever the event is applicable, now we should make a practice that we should use all those events. So this logic we have written as a part of start of selection event. Now in the next video, we will move on to secondary list, secondary list. So that's it in this video. Thank you.